It was pretty good, man. You got, you know, even Bryce Hall with Bare Knuckle. You know, Bryce Hall's uh, one of the owner of owners of BKFC now, and he okay. fought Bare Knuckle, which is crazy. That's, like, absurd. And um, I was actually in talks with BKFC to do a BKFC event before Bryce. Uh, so I was talking to them a couple months before Bryce made his debut. And now for those of you that don't know, there's another Bare Knuckle. I don't even know how much it – I think it's public, but I – oh, no, yeah, Bryce just leaked it. So – Bryce is fighting bare knuckle again. And um, I just recently was with him in Vegas and it looks like I'm going to be participating on the same card uh, as him in April wow. in bare knuckle. So, uh, you know, nothing's wow. in contract yet, but I have agreed to do a bare knuckle fight in April, uh, which is crazy. <laughs> well, hey, well, I'm glad we got, we, Hey, we got your pretty face on, on camera today. Cause <laughs> Oh yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. It's still look, it's, it's gonna look all right. Still, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> you know. Hey man, I've I've seen some of them bare knuckle bouts, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> bro. Oh yeah. Sometimes it gets a little bit wild. We'll, we'll see yeah. what happens. But the cool thing about bare knuckle is that it's much more akin to a fight than boxing is. You know, boxing you get the yeah. big gloves, and if somebody's really well developed in the boxing aspect, they can get a, away with a lot of um. Uh, dodging, dipping, ducking, diving, and dodging behind the gloves, yeah. you know? But the BKFC almost favors an MMA mindset a little bit more than it does boxing mindset to some degree because you really move the, use your hands a lot to get, uh, manipulate somebody or get out of the way or whatever. 